Hello guys, welcome back to Q. Right, so I was going to do a video about uh, going to kill things in the Twilight Forest, but uh, that was a spectacular failure. I came across a Twilight Lich, and um, I discovered that the power tool, not really ideal. So I died there, unfortunately. I lost my gravity gun, uh, a magic map, and a bunch of other things. I had to uh, remake my nano suit body armor because that was also gone. All in all, massive spectacular failure. Uh, so we will be going back to that another time. Instead, I am going to jump on back onto the industrious nature of myself. Well, that sounded really weird. Um, <laughs> And we're going to be carrying on with factorization, and I'll be showing you something to do with that minimap shortly. Okay, so the first thing you really need to get started in factorization is to get a solar turbine and the associated mirrors. And a solar turbine actually requires quite a lot of stuff to get. The big thing is this motor, which requires stuff you've never seen before. Some lead wire, uh, a full charge battery block. Funnily enough, okay, you can make this recipe with a full charge battery block or a medium charge battery block. To get a medium charge battery block, you take a full charge battery block and add two lead wires to it. That's just nuts. Why would you do that? Anyway, full charge battery block. That's the first part. Uh, we need four of these insulated coils, so I'll just grab those. We need at least three lots of lead wire. Let's make four just to be sure. Okay, this is where our uh, magnet will be going, I think, or. Yes. Right. And so for that we need a iron ingot. The battery and a bunch of lead wire. You can see why this doesn't seem to make much in the way of sense. Wait. Oh right, I see. Okay. So it didn't actually uh destroy it, it just made a magnet. That's quite good. That's good. So we can use that as well, because I was going to have to make another one. Um, because you you need one of these sitting on your line. Draws power, so you can... I didn't use up... I didn't use up any of the wire either. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that's nice. Okay, so we got a motor now. The other thing we need is a fan. Don't think these things get damaged, but I can't be sure. And then we need some glass. So we need seven glass all in all. And that will give us our solar turbine. Which is quite nice. Okay, so we've got a turbine and we've got a battery block. The next thing that we need to do is make some mirrors because obviously this only works as a solar turbine if it's being uh, powered by solar energy. So we're going to use some mirrors to give us that energy essentially. And luckily, I was cooking up some silver. This is a bit strange, and some of the what you need for the battery block is sulfuric acid. So I've been I've been pulverizing blaze rods for a while and then using a minion stone to turn them back into no, turn the blaze powder back into the uh blaze rods because you get basically two for one whenever you do that. And th it generates this sulfur. But this sulfur doesn't work. I had to use this stuff, of which I only had two. So I'm really glad I don't have to make another uh, battery. Okay, 
And what else we need is this. Right. This is a pretty heavy recipe. Now I'm not sure how many of these we're going to need. So I'm just going to make 16 of them. I think that should do for now. Okay. Oh yeah, the other thing is uh, these armor stands. They're pretty awesome. I quite like that. Doesn't seem to work with a modu uh, modular power armor, but uh, yeah, such is life. The other thing I got, uh, thanks to Ginger, is my quest ram. He is here. Look at that. So yes, if you want to take mobs from uh, Twilight Forest and stick them in your overworld, pick them up with a gravity gun or portal gun, and then just jump through the portal. The other thing I've been doing is collecting seed oil. Uh, one of these is going to be for honey. Uh, I'm going to be do obviously doing tanks for as many things as possible. Alright, so what we need to do is go get some sleep. Because obviously we don't want to... We don't want any of this to be attacked by random creatures. Okay, and for now, this is just a temporary setup. Um, that I'm gonna go and do whilst I work, and uh, people who pay attention to things, unlike myself, will notice that we have four type type structures. Oh, can you hear me over this? You must be able to. Anyway, yes. So people who have been paying attention will notice that we have these four honeycomb type structures. And I thought I was being like super original. <laughs> Clearly not. Um when I when I did this and then it was pointed out to me by someone who got to see this me do this, that it is exactly the same thing that Etho did. And so I must have subconsciously just been copying Etho. Sorry. Anyway. We're not going to worry about that too much. We're just going to set this up here. At some point, uh, I will make this this one over here a sort of building. And the factorization stuff will sit on top of it. But for now, whilst we're testing this, uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. Now, it needs water, doesn't it? I believe it needs to be sitting on top of an infinite water spring, otherwise it doesn't work. So I did bring a bucket with me. And luckily, we have all this water nearby. Just by chance. So I don't really plan things all that well. This is mostly just to get it started because what we really want is the dark iron so we can build the uh, routers to handle all of our barrel storage. It's getting a bit ridiculous now. There we go, look at that. Okay. So because I've only got 16, I don't need to worry too much about the placement, but the idea is, is that there's an actual distance that these things have to be within. And uh, the other thing is that they actually have to be on the same level as the solar turbine, otherwise they definitely do not work. And if you put anything in their way, they stop working. Right, so obviously, some transparent blocks don't stop it, but solid blocks definitely stop it. Alright. So as you can see, this thing is going. And that means it is generating power now. So what we're going to do is pull this 
out. And we're gonna just stick our battery box here. Right, and so the power goes into that. That's nice. You can tell just exactly how full it is. Alright, so now we need to build some of the machines. Actually, let's swap that around. We don't want that going there. Let's make it... Uh, let's make it come out this way. Rather than running into the hive, so we can just drop this here. Okay. So there's a bunch of machines that go along with this uh, factorization stuff. And I think they pretty much all require lead ingots. I can't remember which one it is that it prefers. Let's just quickly check recipes. So there's the grinder. Uh, there's a heating block. Well, yeah, there's there's tons of things that require it. So you've got your battery block, you've got your furnace heater, which is more of those insulated coils. You've got your grinder, which requires a diamond cutting head, which we have not been able to sort yet. A mixer. I think there were some other things. I don't think the mixer actually requires energy, but I'm not can't be one hundred percent sure. And the furnace heater. So, we need to take a look. I'm completely unprepared. I've absolutely forgotten what I was going to do. That's really unprofessional. Fantastic. Right. So, what we might as well do... Oh, there's the other thing, the packet stamper and stuff like that. So, we, we do want to get the packet stamper. craft packet stamper. So that one's quite easy because what we need are uh, diamond shards. That right, doesn't have the recipe for it. But you use diamond shards in quite a number of things. One of which is the Wrath Igniter. And that's quite a good one. Nether brick. Now to get diamond shards, I can't remember exactly what it is. It's something to do with the stamp. But for, so for that you need a you need a craft packet. How you make those either? Fantastic! I'm on fire today. All right. Well, okay. Never mind. What we will do is we'll go on to the second part whilst my brain decides whether it wants to remember what I'm going to do or not. So what we've been doing is we've been collecting hives, and I don't have them all yet. I am missing the end hive, and. Uh, wait, there is one, one more missing there. There, there is definitely one more missing here, because I did have the nether hive. Huh, did I put that somewhere strange? Ah, yes, I did. I try to do the um I try to be clever and use the gravity gun to pick up a spawner, but obviously it turns everything into a pig spawner. That's nice and helpful. Uh what else did I have that I wanted to do? <coughs> Never mind. Okay, so what we need for this is a uh, scoop and 
we can make a thormium scoop. Because they last longer, and then I'll be able to enchant it as well. So if I could just grab this. Thormium scoop. So it's wool, thormium ingots, and sticks. Luckily, we have those. I haven't had felt the need really to make much in the way of um, thormium as of yet, but I'm sure that will come. And I've also uh, put in brown marker blocks, once again thanks to Ginger for pointing that out, and uh, yeah, this works out quite well. The other thing I lost were my goggles. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright. Is it that? Uh, requires, obviously requires this. Throw me in scoop. Let's charge that up a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to scoop out some bees. Because that is what we need to get started. And so the first one are meadow. Oh, we've got some combs as well. Okay. These are forest. Let me just pop things in here as I get them. They're not all the same. Alright, so I will need to build an analyzer at some point soon. There's a lot of stuff that needs to go in for these things. That's why a lot of people find... Um, the forestry bee stuff to be quite intimidating because there is a lot to it. It's it's definitely not shy about having you do a lot of things. Right, so this is jungle. And it can be it can be a bit overwhelming, I found. Uh, when I was looking into it, just thinking to myself, oh my god, what the hell. The interesting thing here is, oh, I think that's a valiant princess. That's quite nice. Uh, the reason why you, you can see that they don't all stack is because bees have traits. They... Uh, they can be... They can have a whole different range of traits, like uh, how much they... how quickly they reproduce and how quickly they... Um, how long they live, what kind of range they have on plants and so forth. So those things all, all make a massive difference. And for that we will get a bee analyzer. But I think we can't really use the bee analyzer until we've got some honey. Honey! Pooh bear. Um, so there, there is that. Luckily I've already got some... Uh, Rocky drones. I, I was hoping to get a water drone, but never mind. Princesses are just as good. We can just we can use breeding to make sure that we get what we want. So embittered, I'm just not happy. Okay, and these are the marble ones now. The reason why I have so many of this 
is because uh, the Twilight Forest is full of them, and I just broke my Thormium. I think I had an alt scoop from where I was testing. There we go. My original plan was just to go through and just always have a scoop on me and do it that way. This way works out much better. I really need a chest for these things. Well, I can put these away. Alright. Don't need that for the second. I've got a couple in here, Steadfast and some Rocky drone Rockies. So that's quite good. Certainly don't need all these things in here. This is my B stuff. Alright. Okay, so I think that is actually about time on this first video. So this is going to be a, a two-parter. Uh, the second part will come out a bit later. I'm going to organise myself and have some coffee and maybe something to eat because it's very, very, very early in the morning. And I will be back shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.